hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved this bob twist um, using my easy text pre-stretched antibacterial itch free non-flammable um, braiding hair uh, this hair was quite long however i did i did need it to cut it in order to achieve my bob um, twist um, i think this is the second time i'm doing like some sort of rope twist on my hair so it was quite challenging especially doing the parting section because you can't really see so i had a little mirror that helped me to like cross check my work um so i just kind of free parted and then i would take a mirror and like look at the back just so i can make sure my lines don't look too crazy obviously i wasn't expecting them to be perfection because i am doing it by myself but i did want it to look neat so that's why i needed to cross check and probably you know do my parts a couple more times in order to get it right um before i proceeded on to doing the twist now i did box parting for this look because i'm doing large and i like the way box parts look with large and i'm just taking my um shining jam placing it on the hair just so i can smoothen it out a little bit because my texture is quite rough so i twist the braiding hair before i place it onto my hair and then twist it along with my hair to the right and then i swap over and twist the other side and then i continue the crisscross motion so that is the concept of how i did this look now when i'm twisting or doing my own hair of any sort i always like to position my hand and my head <coughs> excuse me i like to position my hand and my head the same way i would on a real person's head that's the only way it makes sense to me so if you are familiar with doing people's head just kind of twist and turn your hands and your head in the position in which you would want your clients to do so and how you would do so when you're doing their hair that is the only way i can explain this so anyways when you twist you want to take your elastic band and tie the end um because we are going to be cutting it so i don't want it to unravel and i just like the look of the elastic bands at the bottom So you pretty much be repeating this process all through the head until you're done. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of using my hands to kind of see what I'm doing because I can kind of feel the lines on my head. So I kind of, you know, make sure it's straight. Um, so like I said, just twist the braiding hair, place it on your head, twist the, your hair along with the braiding hair until it's nice and tight at the base. And then you want to swap over to your other hand and then do the same twisting to the right as well so when i'm twisting i'm always twisting towards the same direction i twist to the right and then i crisscross and twist to the right and crisscross um the more firm your twists are the less likely it's going to unravel so you want to make sure you're twisting it before you swap over because if you don't your twists are going to look really really loose and it's not going to stay on for very long it's not going to be secure so i found the front a bit easier than the back because obviously i can kind of see what i'm doing however i did have to approach my twist in a bit different because it's in a different side of my head and like i said i'm doing this by myself so like all the things you know it's like you have to kind of adjust it when you're doing your own head so you see how my hands are like in a different direction as it was um as opposed to when i was at the back section so that's kind of what i'm saying so because on a real person's head when i'm standing in the back and standing in the front my hand positioning would look different so that's kind of like my mental processing when i'm doing my own hair
so I'm going to do like a center part however you can wear it on your left or right side all you have to do is literally just move your twist the opposite way which is what I'm going to do in a little bit So just go ahead and cut the hair um, I like this um, non feather tip look I think it looks really really good it gives it a little bit of personality and then obviously don't forget to secure your baby hair um, so this is like the next day after I finished the hair I just did my makeup and decided to zhuzh it up and do the final results so I just took this edge control product and I'm just placing it on my hair um, just to make it look nice and clean and look decent but you guys know I really don't like edge control like that anymore I like my edges to look like my edges <laughs> and then I'm just applying some accessories onto this hair I feel like what really really sold this look was the um, gold accessories um, if you don't like flashy things or flashy jewelry you may just want to leave it as like the plain look and it's still just as cute but if you want to take it to the next level um, I call this Instagram hair. <laughs> I, I wouldn't actually wear this because just my personality, I wouldn't wear this. Um, in public, you know, I just like, I like it for the look of the aesthetic and pictures. It just looks good for videos. So if you, if you are like, you like bold hair, then of course go ahead and accessorize to the T. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll catch you guys on my next video. Have a merry day and God bless. Music